Welcome back everyone to the deep dive. Today we're going to be diving into something pretty fascinating. Uh, yes, yeah. it's, it's really changing the game in software right now. So absolutely, we're talking about vertical AI agents. And to help me break it all down, I've got an yeah. expert here with me today. So. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to dive into this. Yeah, I think this is going to be really cool because it's like when you think about AI. Yeah. Everybody immediately jumps to like Chat GPT, Chat GPT, yeah, which is amazing and it's impressive and all that, but it's. It's kind of like a jack of all trades. It is. It's a generalist. It's a generalist. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking at today is like the specialists. Yeah. The vertical AI agents are like the experts in their fields. Exactly. And I think that's what's so fascinating about this shift is we're moving beyond just the general AI and into these really, really specific applications. And when we're talking about specific applications, we're talking about like yeah, a huge market. Yeah, the like $300 billion market. $300 billion with a B. Yeah. With a B. Yeah. Dollars projected market value. That's bigger than the entire sauce revolution. That is mind blowing. Yeah. So let's break down, like, what are these things? Yeah. What are vertical AI agents? So basically at their core, they are software systems that are trained on very specific data. So right. very specialized information to become an expert in a particular industry. Okay. So you can imagine if you had a dental office. Yeah. Instead of having an entire billing department. Right. You have one vertical AI agent that's coding invoices perfectly. Oh, wow. It's navigating the complexities of insurance. Oh, oh my. It's optimizing all your billing workflows. That's amazing. And so it's like condensing an entire department right? into a single piece of software. That's incredible. It's pretty amazing. So we're talking about dental, but like where else mm -hmm. are we seeing these things popping up? The possibilities are practically endless. I mean, think about customer support, right? right. Instead of having to wait on hold, you get to interact with an AI agent that knows your product inside and out. That'd be great. Can resolve issues instantly. Wow. Learns from every interaction. That'd be awesome. And provides a seamless customer experience. Wow. And that's just one example. And I've also read about like in recruiting. Yes. Um, Like sorting through resumes, scheduling right. interviews, all that stuff that recruiters have to do. It's a recruiter's dream. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's a dream come true. Yeah. But why can't we just use chat GPT to do that? Right. What makes vertical AI agents different? So it all comes down to that specialized knowledge. Okay. So unlike ChatGPT, which is trained on a massive data set of general information, right. vertical AI agents are trained on very specific in industry-relevant data. And so that allows them to achieve a level of accuracy and efficiency oh, wow. that you just can't get with a generic AI. So it's like having a general practitioner versus a heart surgeon. Exactly. You wouldn't right. want a general practitioner right. doing open heart surgery. No, you want the specialist. You want the expert. Yeah. Okay. And that's really one of the key factors driving this massive market potential yeah. is businesses are realizing that vertical AI agents can drastically cut costs. I mean, McKinsey actually did a report and found that oh, wow. AI powered automation can reduce manual work by as much as 90%. 90%. That's huge. It's not even cost reduction. That's like a total transformation of the way something. we work. Yeah, it is. But it can't just be about cutting costs, right? No, absolutely not. It's about doing things better, faster, and smarter. Right. So take software development, for example. Okay. Imagine a vertical AI agent that can write code. What? Debug errors and even assist with complex troubleshooting. Oh my gosh. I mean, this could significantly accelerate development cycles, lead to more robust software what? and more innovative solutions. It seems like we're just scratching the surface here. Yeah. Of what these things could do. I think so. I mean, we're already talking about like healthcare finance education. Yeah. Every industry. Like it could revolutionize everything. Absolutely. And what's really exciting is that the pace of innovation in AI is accelerating so rapidly. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing new applications and capabilities emerge all the time. And that's what's fueling this massive market projection. That sounds like a gold rush. It is definitely attracting a lot of attention. Yeah. And I think one of the most promising trends that we're seeing is the increasing adoption of vertical AI agents by large enterprises. Okay. They're seeing the value of automation, not just in terms of cost savings, but also in terms of enhanced productivity and innovation. That makes sense. Like, if these big companies are seeing success with it, right. are there opportunities for, like, smaller businesses and entrepreneurs to get in on this action, too? 
Absolutely. Because we're talking about this $300 billion market. Yeah. It would be awesome if this wasn't just limited to like right. the big players. Yeah. And that's where it gets really interesting because platforms like Rare are emerging. Okay. That are specifically designed to empower businesses to create their own custom AI agents. So you're saying you don't need like a team of AI experts right. and millions of dollars to build these things anymore? Not necessarily with platforms like Sierra. Wow. You don't need to be a coding wizard to uh -huh. leverage the power of AI. Okay. They offer these intuitive interfaces, pre-built modules, drag and drop functionality. That sounds pretty user friendly. Yeah, making it possible for really anyone with some basic technical knowledge to build pretty sophisticated AI solutions. So even a small business could create an AI agent that's tailored to their specific needs. Exactly. That's a game changer. It is a game changer. It really levels the playing field. It does. And just like we saw this huge explosion of niche sauce solutions, yeah. I think we can anticipate a similar boom in the vertical AI agent space. Okay. And this means there's going to be a wealth of opportunities for entrepreneurs and developers to create innovative solutions that address very specific needs. So for our listeners out there who are thinking, I want to build one of these things, right. where should they start? I think the first step is to identify the right problem to solve. Okay. Yeah. So look for tasks in your industry that are boring, repetitive, okay. time-consuming, gotcha. and honestly, a bit soul-crushing. Yeah, These are the areas where AI can have the most immediate and impactful effect. So like all those tedious data entry jobs, yes. scheduling social media posts, Absolutely. maybe even going through mountains of email. Yeah, exactly. Those are all prime candidates for automation. Prime candidates, and the best part is you don't have to start from scratch. Right. You can leverage existing relationships and your own experiences to identify these opportunities. So think yeah. about your friends, your family businesses you interact with. Are there any processes that they struggle with right. that could be streamlined with a vertical AI agent? Like that entrepreneur who developed a billing AI specifically for his mother's dental clinic. Exactly. That's a great example. Starting small, addressing a real pain point for someone you know is a fantastic way to gain experience and validate your idea. Right. It's low risk, high reward. That's awesome advice. So let's say you've identified a problem. You're ready to start building. What are some practical tips for actually developing a successful vertical AI agent? Well, one of the most important things is to focus on solving a real problem. Okay. Don't just build AI for the sake of building AI. It needs to address a genuine need. Right. Make a process easier, faster, more cost effective for your target audience. Yeah. Think about the user experience and how your agent can truly add value. So don't get caught up in the hype or yeah. the technology itself. Exactly. Make sure it's actually useful and solves a problem for someone. Absolutely. What else should our listeners keep in mind? So one common hurdle is just knowing where to begin. You know, yeah. it can be overwhelming to sort through all the different platforms, the AI models, the technical jargon. It's like stepping into a whole new world. Right. But that's where resources and communities come in. Okay. There are tons of online forums, tutorials, even AI specific consulting services that can help guide businesses through this process. That's good to know. Yeah. And once you've built your vertical AI agent, how do you make sure it's actually being adopted and used effectively within a business? That's where change management comes in. Okay. You need to get buy-in from your team, provide proper training, right. and demonstrate the value of this new technology. Sometimes people are hesitant to embrace change, especially when it comes to AI. Yeah. It's like anything new, yeah. it takes time for people to adapt and see the benefit. Absolutely. But once they do, it can be transformative. As we've been talking about this, I keep thinking about how these things could impact different industries. It's fascinating to consider, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, just imagine the potential in healthcare, for example. Right. A vertical AI agent could analyze medical images, assist with diagnoses, right even now. personalize treatment plans, or in finance, it could detect fraud, manage investments. That's amazing. Provide personalized financial advice. It's mind blowing when you think about it. It is. We're talking about the potential to solve some of the world's most complex problems. I think so. And with a market projected to reach $300 billion, it seems like everyone's starting to realize the power of this technology. It's definitely an exciting time to be involved in the AI space. And as we continue to develop and refine these vertical AI agents, who knows what amazing breakthroughs we'll see in the years to come. It feels like we're just at the beginning of this journey. I think so. So to wrap up our deep dive into the world of vertical AI agents, what's one key takeaway you would leave our listeners with today? 
I would say embrace the possibilities, don't be intimidated by the technology, explore the tools and resources available, identify the problems you're passionate about solving, and start building. You might be surprised at what you can achieve. That's a great message to end on. Yeah. So to our listeners, if you're intrigued by the power of vertical AI agents, don't just sit on the sidelines, dive in, experiment, and be a part of shaping the future. Oh. This has been The Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us. It's incredible to think about how much manual work could be eliminated, you know? Yeah, 90%. 90%. It's, it's crazy. It really is. It's like a whole different way of... It's a transformation. Yeah, it's not even cost reduction. It's a transformation. Exactly. But it can't just be about, like, saving money and cutting jobs. Right, no. Okay. No, it's it got to be about making things better. Right. Faster. More efficient. More efficient, exactly. And And, you know, a great example of that is software development. Okay. Imagine a vertical AI agent that could write code for you. Okay, so now we're talking... Debug errors. This is like next level stuff. And assist with troubleshooting. Wow. I mean, think about how much faster yeah. development cycles could be. How much more robust our software could be. Right. How many more innovative solutions we could create. So it seems like we're just scratching the surface here. We are. Of what these things could do. Yeah. We're already talking about like... Healthcare finance education. Every industry. Like it could revolutionize everything. Absolutely. And what's really exciting is that the pace of innovation in AI is accelerating so rapidly. Yeah. We're seeing new applications and capabilities emerge all the time. It's incredible. And that's really what's fueling this massive market projection. So we have these incredible efficiency gains. We have improved accuracy. We have this rapidly evolving technology. Right. It sounds like a gold rush. It is attracting a lot of attention, that's for sure. Yeah. And one of the most promising trends we're seeing, I think, is the increasing adoption of these vertical AI agents by large enterprises. Yeah, absolutely. Like they're seeing the value, of, seeing the value. of automation, not just in terms of cost savings, but in terms of enhanced productivity and innovation. Exactly. They're realizing that they can do more. Right. With less. They can do it better. They can do it better. And faster. Faster, cheaper. Yeah. It's a win-win. So if these big companies are seeing success, hmm. are there opportunities for like the smaller businesses and entrepreneurs out there to get in on this too? Yeah. Because we're talking about this massive $300 billion market. Right. It'd be amazing if it wasn't just limited to the big players. Right. And that's where it gets really interesting. Okay. Because platforms like Sierra are emerging that are specifically designed to empower businesses to create their own custom AI agents. Hold on. You're saying that you don't need like a team of AI experts right. and millions of dollars to build these things anymore? Not necessarily. Boy. With platforms like Sierra, you don't need to be a coding wizard oh, to yeah. leverage the power of AI. Okay. They offer intuitive interfaces, pre-built modules, drag and drop functionality. Wow. So that's pretty user friendly. Yeah. Making it possible for really anyone with some basic technical knowledge. Right to build some pretty sophisticated AI solutions. So even a small business yes. could create a specialized AI agent exactly. that's tailored to their needs. That is a game changer. That's huge. It really levels the playing field. It, and yeah. just like we saw this explosion of niche saw solutions, we can anticipate a similar boom in the vertical AI agent space. Okay. And this means that there's gonna be tons of opportunities Yeah for entrepreneurs, for developers to create these really innovative solutions right. that address very specific needs. So for our listeners out there who are thinking, okay, right. I want to build one of these things, yeah. where do they start? Where do they start? Where do they even begin? I think the first step is to identify the right problem to solve. Okay. So look for tasks in your industry that are boring, repetitive, okay. time consuming. Gotcha. And Honestly, kind of soul crushing. Yeah, I can think of a few. We all can, right? Yeah. These are the areas where AI can really have the most immediate and impactful effect. So like all those tedious data entry jobs? Yes. Scheduling social media posts? Absolutely. Maybe even going through all of your emails. Exactly. Those are prime candidates. Automation. Yeah. And the best part is you don't have to start from scratch. Okay, that's good. You can leverage existing relationships and your own experiences to identify these opportunities. No, that's a great point. So think about your friends. Oh. Think about your family, 
the businesses that you interact with on a daily basis, are there any processes that they struggle with yeah. that could be streamlined with a vertical AI agent? Like that entrepreneur who built a billing AI for his mother's dental clinic. Exactly. That's a great example. Starting small, addressing a real pain point for someone you know, Yeah. that's a fantastic way to gain experience and validate your idea. It's low risk, high reward. It is low risk, high reward. I like it. So let's say you've identified a problem, you're ready to start building. Yeah. What are some practical tips okay. for developing a successful vertical AI agent? Yeah. What should people keep in mind? Well, one of the most important things is to focus on solving a real problem. Okay. Don't build AI just for the sake of building AI. Right. It needs to address a genuine need. Right. Make a process easier, faster, or more cost effective. Mm. Think about the user experience oh. and how your agent can truly add value. Don't get caught up in like the hype right. or the technology itself. Exactly. Make sure it's actually useful for somebody. Absolutely. So what are some of the challenges people might run into oh. when they're trying to implement these vertical AI agents? Oh, well, one common hurdle is just knowing where to begin. Yeah. You know, it can be overwhelming to s sort through all the different platforms, the AI yeah. models, the technical jargon. It's like stepping into a whole new world. Right. But that's where resources and communities come in. Great. There are tons of online forums, tutorials, even AI-specific consulting services that can help guide businesses through this process. That makes sense. And once you've built your vertical AI agent, mm -hmm. how do you ensure it's actually being adopted and used effectively within the business? Yeah, that's where that change management comes in. You know, you need to get buy-in from your team. You need to provide proper training and demonstrate the value of this new technology. Sometimes people are hesitant to embrace change, especially when it comes to AI. Right. It's like a anything new. It takes time for people to adapt and see the benefits. Absolutely. But once they do, it can be transformative. As we've been talking about this, I keep thinking about how these things could impact different industries, like we've talked about some. But It is fascinating to consider, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine the potential in healthcare. Yeah. A vertical AI agent could analyze medical images, assist with diagnoses, even personalized treatment plans. Wow. Or in finance, it could detect fraud, manage investments. Right. Provide personalized financial advice. It's mind blowing when you think about it. It is. We're talking about the potential to solve some of the world's most complex problems. I think so. And with a market projected to reach $300 billion, it seems like everyone's starting to realize the power of this technology. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting time to be involved in the AI space. And as we continue to develop and refine these vertical AI agents, who knows what amazing breakthroughs we'll see in the years to come. It feels like we're just at the beginning of this journey. I think so. So to wrap up our deep dive into the world of vertical AI agents, what's one key takeaway you would leave our listeners with today? I would say embrace the possibilities. Don't be intimidated by the technology. Explore the tools and resources available. Identify the problems you're passionate about solving and start building. You might be surprised at what you can achieve. That's a great message to end on. So to our listeners, if you're intrigued by the power of vertical AI agents, don't just sit on the sidelines. Dive in, experiment, and be a part of shaping the future. This has been The Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us.